I'm going to end the show this morning by featuring the work of one of my favorite local photographers. I know I'm not alone by making that comment. Through his lenses, he captures the world and the emotions of all those around him. He has given the keys so many amazing and unforgettable photos. Nick, thank you for being with me this morning. Thank you for having me. Well, it's wonderful having you here because like I just mentioned, Nick, I am a big fan of your work. Thank so. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and our viewers can see this morning all these photos that are behind us. They were all captured by you. Nick, how long have you been here in the Keys? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Yeah. Okay, why Key West? Um, it was suggested by my uncle that uh, it would be a, kind of a really good fit. They would love to be down here and couldn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, was bartending and uh, doing photography up in St. Petersburg and kind of thought I should just come down and see what it's like and mm -hmm. immediately knew it was where I wanted to be, that's for sure. <laughs> you knew that it was the yeah. right fit for you. All right, Nick, how long have you been doing photography for? Um, over 10 years, more like 12 or 13, I guess. But off and on, there was a pocket at the time where I wasn't shooting. but. Mm -hmm. But once you picked back up that camera, you, you've Didn't been hooked yeah. ever since. <laughs> well, what got you into photography, Nick? Uh, actually, my love of music and uh, would love to go see shows and couldn't get in to see my friend's band because they were all older than me. And I kind of used it to get into the bars underage. <laughs> That's a smart motive, <laughs> Nick. All right, Nick. What, what is it like photographing so many events down here in the Keys? Dizzying. Oh. Um, it's, it's mainly out of participation, how much we love it. You know, I think we all recognize how much of a fun island it is, and uh, just being a part of it that way, it kind of gives you a sense of purpose to it as well. And it makes it more fun, so mm -hmm. then everyone gets to look back on it and realize how many fun times I had. Do you have a favorite event that you've been at, Nick? Hmm, probably the 2-2 party for Fantasy Fest is yeah. definitely a favorite with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Have you been doing that every year since you've been here? Um, yes, it took me a while to get into that because uh, the first year I actually worked it for the porch, which obviously everyone marches down to mangoes for that. Right, right. Okay, now Nick, do you have a specific favorite photograph that you've ever taken in your whole life of doing photography? Personally, the one that uh, we have up of uh, my grandmother's hands. That's okay. probably my favorite. That's your grandmother's hands. When was that taken? Uh, three years ago or so. Mm -hmm. yeah, she makes uh, yeast rolls, which is a big family favorite, so I don't think any of us had ever taken a photo of her doing that. That's mm -hmm. probably why we like it so much. It is a great photo. Nick, what would you say defines a beautiful photo to you? Um, that's a tough one. It's just the simplicity of what uh, the image captures. It, you know, usually it's not the busiest photo, it's the most simple one. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't know. It's each one kind of says different things to me. Mm -hmm. And now, Nick, do you do weddings? Do you do what type of events? All do you? Uh, weddings is a big one. I think mm -hmm. you can ask most of the like professional photographers down here. It's hard not to do some of that, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's spaced out with events and food photography and uh, portraits and. You know, but uh, the weddings are a big one. And you are, of course, for hire. Anybody yes, wants to use you, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they won't regret it either. For more information, they can check out the information that you've seen on the bottom of the screen. Nick, again, I thank you for being on, and we're going to show our viewers some more of your photographs before we go this morning. And thank you for tuning in this morning. I hope you can join me again tomorrow at 7 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Turn